Wow, I've got the whole landscape to myself today. Um, and we're going to look at the uh, dinosaur footprints off the slipway. Um, it's usually the protocol to uh, not show people exactly where these are, but to be honest with you, they're eroding so much now that I think it's about time that we made the exact location known. So we've got the side here, the cliff. Um, anyway, this is Carl James Langford reporting. This is a site I've been to many times before, taken many people down here. And uh, somebody's looked, left a load of shells, but there you go. There's uh, one of the dinosaur footprints, uh, one of the layers. Um, there's another one there. If we follow this as a track, so we've got this one here, and we, we pan across. We've got another one there in front, and we've got this one here on the right, and this one over on the left. So you pan over again in the same layer, we've got another one badly um, eroding down there. And we go to another layer. These ones are really faint now. Um, it's going to be really difficult to paint these out. Um, so where are we? Pan across to one down there. Yeah. And if we look towards some of the others, uh, they're really difficult to make out. There's there's one uh, down there. Um, and there's numbers in, numbers uh, others in these rock, but unfortunately, you can only really make them out when when they're wet. Now we're coming across um, a herb, herbivore. A footprint down there, a herbivore dinosaur footprint, and uh, there you go with a back heel, it would gently go in there like that. Um, and just taking a broad, broad group down here, and um, it's really difficult to make these out. But there's um, if you notice the, that print there, you go back, and there's another one there, there's two uh, separate directions there. Another one there, and a bit, bit covered up by there in that section, and it traces all the way back to under the rock. So as we pan across, we can follow that there. There you go, plonk there, and plonk alongside there, and you've got another one there. Um, in this area, there, were, there was many about set five years ago, but really eroded away. But what you can see is different directions of prints, and what you can see there is that there's a print there of an Ankyosauropus. There's another print there, and then they go across the rock, and they've really faded away now. And when there's two sets of prints there, there's one there, alongside my boot, there's another one there. Um, and there are lots of different directions. Um, it seems that there's a set of prints as we're doing this. We've got one foot there, you've got another one there, and then you've got another one there. These are really eroding away now and I've got no, no qualms about showing pe these to people. Um, about five years time they'll all be gone so um, in the shelf it's this shelf here bring a bottle of water with you just put them in the outlines of the footprints and you'll be able to see them so anyway this is Carl James Lanford at the Bendrix um, and somebody's watching this saying what a stupid thing to show people where these dinosaur footprints are um, they're gonna be gone in a few years anyway so Let's just get people appreciating them before they're completely gone and just take photographs. Bring your children down here and anyone watching this video, um, there, there are a lot more prints down here. Want me to show you what I'm looking at, then I'll be delighted. Then uh, contact me. Uh, this is Carl James Lanford, Archaeology Cymru and the Portable Museum uh, for Wales Fund and also uh, we run workshops um, in Barry Archaeology and so on. And this is dinosaur footprints but uh, it's all linked anyway thank you very much for watching